drugs and the possibility of this incident being once again directly related to the pharmaceutical giants was, of course, Donald Trump and Infowars, as usual. The illegal invasion of Syria, Europe, and our own borders are underway. Foreign military is stationed all over the United States, while PSYOP operations similar to Jade Helm quietly test the infiltration and data collection of American communities. Billionaires replete with inside information are fleeing the sinking ship for greener pastures, identical to the in-the-know absences during the 9-11 spectacle. Something wicked this way comes. The ominous occultic date of September 23rd is just weeks away. Are you prepared? John Bound for Infowars.com. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Vote for Jeb, or you're just fucking stupid. Fool me, we can't get fooled again. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. Ancientdefense.com. Welcome back to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Rob Dew. Joining me in the studio now is Jakari Jackson, who last night went to see a showing, sort of a fundraiser for Ross Ulbricht. And this is uh, on the documentary Deep Web, which was directed by Alex Winter. You may remember him from uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Uh, Jakari, what are your thoughts on the film? It was a really good film. I knew of Silk Road, but I didn't know too much about it. So for me, it's very much a learning experience. There are other people there. Uh, Julia, who joined us yesterday on the Alex Jones show, also local, local Austin activist as well. Kid Daniels was out there, Mikhail Thalen. And basically, for the people who aren't familiar with the story, Ross Ulbricht was a guy who, you know, somewhat unique to me. You know, they document how he was an engineer and he went to school for all these things. But eventually, when it comes to his trial, he admits that he is the creator and operator of the Silk Road. Now, a lot of people will talk about the Silk Road and how illegal drugs and other illicit activities happen on there. Now that you can go out to some street corner and sell your drugs anyway. Right. But the feds want to come down on him, uh, Chucky Schumer. The whole nine yards want to come down on this guy because he has this platform so you can go in there and make your purchases. You could also go on Silk Road and buy a boat or a lawnmower or any number of Right, it wasn't just drugs, other things. but the drugs is was, was cutting in on the government's action. Yeah, and that's what uh, Alex Winter pointed out. He was like, I really think one of the reasons that they came down on him so hard is because they gave him a platform to do it outside of government jurisdiction. They were using bitcoins or some other type of currency that wasn't so easy to trace. Also, the government wasn't getting any cut off of it. Yeah. So, of course, they had to come in and kick in the guy's door and make a whole big show out of it. 
to scare anybody from doing anything like this in the near future. And something interesting about this that I didn't know after they took down Silk Road, there are many other similar or copycat sites that sprung up to mm -hmm. take its place. Yeah. And one of the points they make in the film, even if it is used for illicit activity, they made the point that while you have drug dealers and gangbangers killing each other out in the streets, if you're exchanging your stuff over bitcoins and through the mail, nobody's getting shot, nobody's getting hurt. You know, so it, it's it's a very good point as to that. Well, that too, and just because somebody is using a website for illegal purposes, you can't ban the website or ban the person. It's just the same thing with guns. Somebody's going to use a gun to do something illegal. Well, you can't take that right away from everybody who who's not doing anything illegal. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly the point. So now there's some controversy as to whether Ross Albrecht is the Dread Pirate Roberts, and we don't get too much into this in the report. But anybody who's interested, you can go see the film and find out what I'm talking about. Basically. It is a, a mantle, so there's a, a Dread Pirate Roberts, when he drops out, the new guy comes, the new guy comes. And they were questioning whether or not Ross Ulbricht was the Dread Pirate Roberts who was putting out hits on people. Right. So that was the big controversy, even though it's my understanding he was never uh, convicted or even formally charged as done doing these horrible actions. It's really more or less something that convicted him in the court of public opinion. Well, and as far as I know, nothing really happened, and you had government agents Posing as fake people, yeah. setting up fake accounts, embezzling money. Some of this money, they don't even know where it went. Some yeah, of the Bitcoins I think and stuff. at the end of the film, they point out how a couple of these federal federal agents were suspected of having stolen over a million dollars in yeah. Bitcoins. Oh, no big and, deal. And other things, they were wondering, this didn't ever make it to the trial, but they were wondering if these federal agents were actually breaking the law to go about this, like if they were hacking into people's computers mm -hmm. and using other illegal activities. If you and I did it, right. to check on we go to prison. Agent, we'd be in prison right, right now. We wouldn't yeah. even be talking about this. Yeah. So it goes over all that stuff. As far as the film itself, this is a more condensed version where we had a chance to speak to uh, the director, Alex Winter, and also a few other people who were there at the screening. All right, well, let's go to that uh, interview now, and, and this will pretty much be the end of the show. So uh, we'll wrap it up right after this. We're here with Alex Winter, the director of Deep Web. Yes. It was a great film. I really enjoyed it. It educated me on a lot of things I didn't really know about Silk Road or Mr. Ross. So, and briefly, can you just tell our viewers what the film's about? It's mostly about the uh, the rise and fall of the Silk Road and the uh, Ross Ulbricht trial. I am Chris of the Crypto Show on 89.1 as well. Okay, and how are you involved with the screening? Uh, well, we actually uh, did a fundraiser for Ross Ulbricht uh, two weeks ago, uh, raised over $3,500, and Alex Winter, the creator of Deep Web, uh, actually Skyped in and did an interview with us. Uh, I'm Danny Sessom, and I do, basically, I book all the shows and kind of pick the themes and what we're going to do, and I basically organized the whole fundraiser here and got this whole thing set up. Hi, my name is Julia Taransky uh, from BraveTheWorld.com, and I was at the Ross Ulbricht trial for almost every single day of the month-long occurrence and it was an abhorrently orchestrated and predetermined and this was obvious in the way that the judge held up all of the prosecution's issues with the defense, meanwhile completely censoring the defense as far as denying witnesses from even going on the stand. Uh, I think that Judge Forrest gave Chuck Schumer a happy ending with the sentencing. Now, one of the more prominent figures in the film is Senator Chucky Schumer, who is spearheading a, I guess, campaign to take down the Silk Road, saying that it was being used for all types of illegal activities. Of course, we know any drug dealer can go buy, you know, a pound of heroin on the street corner with a hundred dollar bill. So, with that in mind, how big of an issue do you think the Silk Road was as far as facilitating dr the drug trade? I think that the Silk Road uh, was certainly frightening to law enforcement because of what it did and because of what they were afraid it could do. Um, I think that the idea uh, of a free market that was unregulated using an unregulated currency um, that was moving uh, drugs um, you know, essentially tax-free um, around the world uh, is, you, you can count the ways that that's threatening to government and, and law enforcement. Um, I think from Schumer's perspective, and this is, you know, just hypothesis, um, I think it probably 
uh, it probably uh, threatened him on three levels, primary. One is the drug war. He's always been a very big proponent of the drug war. Two was financial regulation, which is something else the Southern District of New York is very uh, involved in, obviously. It's where Wall Street is, and Schumer's very involved in Wall Street and Bitcoin, and uh, cryptocurrencies are... Um, uh, have been on the radar of Wall Street and financial regulations people. So, you know, I'm sure they were calling Schumer up too, saying, what's going on and would you please shut this down as quickly as humanly possible. And the third uh, is cyber. And this whole notion of the internet as this big boogeyman uh, that is teeming with, you know, anarchist uh, hoodie wearing hackers uh, out to destroy the world um, is terrifying to uh, to a lot of people, especially of a certain age who probably don't know much about technology or really understand technology. Um, so I think they looked at the Silk Road and it was just, it hit all three of these issues and they thought, oh my God, this is like, this is a, a tsunami of illegality and it must be destroyed. Um, I think unfortunately, a lot of the fight against the Silk Road, whatever you think of it, even if you think it's horrible and you think everything they did was wrong, uh, it lacked nuance. It was, uh, it was sort of like uh, attacking a problem with a, with a sledgehammer with a blindfold on as opposed to using surgical tools. And the movie attempts to really uh, deconstruct actually what the Silk Road was, whether you like it or not. It's not a, a big you know, uh, uh, film saying that you know, it was all great. But it is saying, here's what their motives were. Uh, here's how it worked. Here's what it did. Here's what it didn't do. Now go make up your mind. Final thoughts regarding this is, you know, really the Silk Road story, Ross's story, the, the story of the Darknet is just beginning. This is a movie that was about the beginning of something, not the end. So people should educate themselves. They should get involved. Um, and then for me, I'm, I'm making a documentary about Frank Zappa now, so I'm, <laughs> I'm doing something completely different. The Zappa movie I'm making, uh, you know, is really about is really about this amazing artist uh, at the end of the 20th century who embodied a lot of different things. And he was a great musician, you know, sort of pop cultural rock jazz musician. He was a great classical composer. He was, you know, and super anti-drug, which is really interesting for that era and for the type of music that he made. He was very suspicious of institutional malfeasance, you know, coming out of the 60s and 70s, how yeah. couldn't you be? I am always very interested in paradoxical uh, historical characters um, who aren't so easily defined, um, who are very uh, liberty or freedom minded, because they end up being very fascinating and, and dramatic. Alex Winter, thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Well, there you go. You build a website that cuts in on the government's drug dealing action, you too could end up with life in prison. So that's our show tonight. We'll be here every weekday, 7 p.m. Central with the InfoWars Nightly News. If you are watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, but also consider becoming a member of PrisonPlanet.tv. It supports everything we do here, the studios, the personnel, the electricity to keep the lights on, uh, the internet, which has been uh, shaky today. But all that comes with your uh, membership to PrisonPlanet.tv, and you can also share that membership with up to 20 people. So please consider becoming a member today. It's our own network that can't be censored by YouTube or Google or anyone else out there. So get on, uh, get online, log into PrisonPlanet.tv and subscribe today. That's our show. We'll see you uh, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. It's Rob Dew. Thanks. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. And that's the principle of InfoWars Life, as far as I understand, that you've always had, is that it's not about synthetic chemicals and forcing actions. It's about letting your body do its own thing and giving your body the tools it needs to create these different compounds that are super valuable and super beneficial. You will find Brain Force and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888 Two five three three one three nine. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.